Okay, people, so on my last video, I did review the Sony Link Buds. I'm still not the biggest fan of the Sony Link Buds, but I did mention in that video that I was going to shoot another video to go in full detail of the Sony Headphones Connect app using these Sony Link Buds. In that video, if you remember, I'll put that YouTube card right here. I briefly touched on what I thought was most important in that. Now, this video, like I just mentioned, will be a full deep dive into this Sony Headphones Connect app if you're interested. If not, this video might not be for you. <laughs> Let's get it. Wanna see some love? It's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. So what you wanna do is go ahead and download the Sony Headphones Connect app if you haven't already done so, and I do have that right here. I do already have these linked to my Pixel 6 Pro right here, so you're not gonna see the whole connection process. Just follow the prompts on the screen and you'll be able to connect that to your mobile device very, very easily. So. Once you have them connected to your mobile device, this is the main screen right here. As you can see, it says Link Buds at the top. It says A-A-D-S-E-E. -E. You have your power button at the top right. If I click that, it will cut the earbuds off. You have these three dots as well. You click on the three dots, you will get Link Bud tutorial, Link Bud version, backup, and restoration of settings and records, launch music center about this app and help. You also get the battery status. So as you can see, my left one is at 76% and my right one is at 97%. You also get the status of the battery case right here, which is at 78%, which is always nice to have if you're running low on battery in a pinch and you still wanna use these, you'll be able to go inside the app and see where your battery life is. So um, I like that touch they put on there. Underneath that, you do have your status section. That just shows you what music is currently playing. If I go over, over to the sound tab right here. You have speak to chat. And if I click on the eye, it says speak to chat. You can start a conversation while wearing the headphones simply by starting to talk. If I click on experience it, it says detect your voice. Try saying things like hello while music is playing. The headphones detect that you've started to speak and automatically creates a condition that enables conversation. So if you have this turned on and someone comes up to talk to you and you start talking back, it, it will detect your voice. It will automatically turn the music down so that you can have a clear conversation like that. I do not like this feature turned on because while I have music playing, I like to sing along or rap along to whatever music that I'm listening to. And so if you have this turned on and you need to go and customize the various settings when it comes to speak to chat, every time that you talk or you say something or if you're singing along with the song, it will turn down like you're trying to actually talk to someone. So I leave that turned off. It's just not something for me. If you hit close, it says enable speak to chat. This setting can be switched through the operations on your headphones. The operation method can be checked and help. So hit OK. And also you can adjust the sensitivity to speak to chat. So if that's something that you want to have one, if you click the gear icon right underneath that, um, hit OK. It says voice detect sensitivity. I have it on automatic right now, but you do have high sensitivity and low sensitivity. And it says time until mode closes. You have different options, five seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and does not close automatically. So what that means is just the time that it takes for the music to start playing once you stop talking. Underneath speak to chat, you do have your equalizer right here. You do have a bunch of different presets as you can see already. So you can have it all turned off, you have bright, excited, mellow, relaxed, vocal, treble boost, bass boost, speech, manual, which is like another custom, and custom one and custom two. So if you go to bass boost and you like how that sounds, but it just needs a little bit more detail, you click on the gear icon down here at the bottom, right? And you can go in here and customize exactly how you want bass boost. And as soon as you move one of these dots right here, it'll automatically switch over to manual. And then if you go back, that will be set as your manual preset. And then you also have your customs right here. And when you set your customs, it'll just stick to whatever you have it set up. So it's a good thing that Sony does put the equalizer inside of this app. It's always nice to be able to customize and get that really nice tailored sound that is strictly for you. Underneath all of that, you do have your 360 reality audio setup. And if you are not familiar with what 360 reality audio is, it's pretty much the equivalent to spatial audio that Apple has. This is Sony's version. I do believe that spatial audio might be a little bit better, but if you haven't experienced spatial audio and you try out this 360 reality audio, you will not be disappointed. It sounds amazing. 
You also get different options underneath this 360 rally audio. It says analyze ear shapes. I've already done that, but I will show you some steps what they actually require. So it says analyze your ear shape. Take photos of your ears for analysis. Before taking photos, please make sure your ears are entirely visible and check the following. Remove the headphones from your ears. Your ears are not covered by hair. Remove earrings and piercings. So if I hit next, it will go ahead and give you some more details right here. Hit OK. It'll tell you exactly how to take the photo. So if I hit take photo and it will bring up the screen. So this is what Remove it, the headphones from your ears. So this next, is exactly what you'll see right here. And fitted within the frame on the screen. And it gives you direction right there. So I am. Please this is, turn your head slowly to the right. Please do not move captured photo. So there you go right there. It gives your right your left ear. And then if I hit Remove the right the one from your ears, turn your head slowly to the left. Please rotate the camera a little to the right. Captured photo. Okay, so right there, and you are supposed to remove the headphones from your ears, but I did not remove the headphones from my ears. Let me go ahead and hit start. It says analyze your ears. This will take approximately 30 seconds, and I will speed this video up during this part. It says start step two right here. Um, it says optimize your music serv service app by sending ear analysis results. I'll do that later. I do not want to go through that right now. Um, and then you also have optimized apps, 360 reality audio apps are not optimized yet. So if I hit optimize right here, they give you the different apps that are able to be optimized by 360 reality audio. I do have title. So if I click on title, I launch that app. It says preparing for optimization. Please wait. And just to talk about the pictures that I did take they weren't good pictures obviously because i had the earbuds and you definitely want to make sure the earbuds are out so that you get a very good analysis of your ears to get a get the best 360 reality audio experience that these actually have the offers and so now all of that set up i have my ears analyzed and i have my app optimized okay so underneath the 360 reality setup you do have bluetooth connection you get a couple of options you have priority on sound quality or priority on stable connection i have never experienced a unstable connection when dealing with Sony earbuds or headphones for that matter. So I always have priority on sound quality. That's just my opinion. It might be different for you. And then also you have your DSEE at the bottom right here. You can have it on auto or you can just turn that off. And what that is, is your digital sound enhancement engine. What it does, it tries to bring back the music that you're listening to, to its original form that the artist or the producer or the engineer made it to sound at its best. What the hell did you just say? I hope that made sense to you. It made sense in my head, so I'm just gonna rock with that. And then also you do have your system right here. You have your adaptive volume control. If I click on the eye right here, it says the headphone volume becomes larger if the ambient sound is louder and goes back to the original volume if the ambient sound goes quiet. So I have that turned on right here. And underneath all that, you do have your tap operation function. You click the gear icon and you can change exactly what the tap operation is for each ear. So the left ear, you have different functions. You click on that down area, you have playback control, volume control, song select, voice assist, Google assist, Amazon Alexa, quick access, and non-assigned. And right now I do have it on playback control. So a double tap will play and pause the music. A triple tap will go to the next song and then you have the same options on the right ear as well. And then you also do have wide tap area. So that is just like you can, instead of tapping the earbuds themselves, you can tap anywhere between your cheek and your ear so that you don't have to mess with the earbud. You can just touch your head and they'll actually start playing. So, I mean, I do like that innovation right there. You also have automatic power offs. If you turn that on, when you take the headphones off uh, at a certain amount of time, the headphones will cut off to conserve battery life. Pauses when headphones are taken off, that's self-explanatory with the proximity sensor in here. You take it out, it pauses your music, notification and voice guidance, turn that on or off. You have different languages um and here are a bunch of different languages you can pause the video feel free to do that and uh read those at your own pace and then you also have initialized settings at the bottom and initialized setting just pretty much just resets everything that you just went through um and then you also have services right here it says introduction of services and so what services is is just additional functions with spotify i don't rock with spotify but if you do in this inside of this app you get additional options when it comes to spotify and at the bottom you do have activity it tells you total time use 
um, the link buzz, the period, which day, um, registered headphones, different actions right here, which it says your headphones do not support adaptive sound control. I get that. Um, total usage time, obviously link budget shows you that. And then you got your badges right here. And badges is just if you, the more you listen, the different places you listen, you just get more badges. And then you also have your information right here at the bottom. And it just gives you different updates and stuff like that. And also got tips. There's no tips right here. And I don't think I clicked on these three dots right here. So the three dots at the top right, it says backup and restoration of settings and records, launch music center about this app and help. And that is everything there is about this app. Sony, in my opinion, they do have one of the better apps out there. There's a lot of other apps that can compete and come close. But I do think Sony is right there at the top. I don't think any other app is better than Sony, maybe just as good as Sony. Yeah, people, that's all I got. If you enjoyed this video whatsoever or you found any value in this video whatsoever, go ahead and feel free to smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notification when I drop my next tech video. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.